The Miami Dolphins' 2022 free agents could have major impacts on the team's roster if they can't get some of these players locked to longer deals. For Chris Greer, building a winning franchise that will have a long-term impact on the AFC East is his priority but he has spent a lot of time and money on short contracts that are one- and two-year deals. Next year, there will be more than a few impact players that could hit free agency and if they do, the roster could see a big shakeup. Greer is banking on Brian Flores and his coaching staff being able to develop the younger players that are drafted and if he succeeds, then the impact won't be as big or detrimental to the growth of the team. The Dolphins are in year three of their rebuild now and should be competing for the playoffs at the end of this season or at the very least a legitimate contender next year. For all the draft capital Greer has amassed, they have to hit on these players and that means they have to develop them. Miami was set up nicely this past offseason losing only a handful of players. Most notably, Kyle Van Noy was released but the Dolphins opted to not re-sign Ryan Fitzpatrick, Davon Godshow, Matt Hawk, Ted Karras, Camu Grugier-Hill, Julian Davenport, and Matt Breida. They also released Bobby McCain last week. Next year, that list of players that make up the impending list is going to be longer and potentially more impactful should these players leave. Here is a look at the impending free agent class and the impact each player leaving could have. Mike Jasicki has been a solid addition and the best Tay the Miami Dolphins have had in over a decade but next season, free agency could be in his future. Jasicki's value to the team is evident in the fact that he is a go-to receiving tight end with exceptional hands. While he may not block nearly as well as he plays downfield, he is reliable and extremely consistent. In 2020, he was far better with Ryan Fitzpatrick at quarterback than he was with Tunga Vailoa but that could simply be nothing more than off-season work or in 2020, a lack thereof. Many believe that Jasicki could be on his way out after this season. The Dolphins drafted Hunter Long in the third round and some view him as a more rounded tight end than Jasicki. Long could also be the backup plan should Jasicki want more than Miami is willing to spend on the position. Having Jasicki and Long both on the field will give the Dolphins a great combination of tight ends that coupled with the deep receiving unit will be tough to defend. The Dolphins, should they want to keep Jasicki beyond next year, should consider extending him sooner rather than later and we could see that happen in training camp. On the other side of that coin, if the Dolphins are not looking at his long term, he could be traded before the NFL deadline. The Miami Dolphins have added talent to the linebacker group but does that make Jerome Baker expendable? Jerome Baker was a steal as a mid-round draft pick and one of the brighter drafted players under Chris Greer but his time in Miami could come to an end after this year. Baker, like Jasicki, Fuller, and some of the others on this list, will be unrestricted and will most assuredly draw interest on the market. It is hard to predict what the Dolphins see the linebacker unit looking like down the road. They have invested money in the position but not a lot of draft picks. Baker is still on his rookie contract and that bodes well for Miami who could look to lock him down longer. Baker is productive and is a team leader but I think the Dolphins will wait to see how this season progresses. As good as Baker is, he still needs to grow a bit more and Miami could view that as something they want to look at this year before making that decision. Either way, Baker is going to be a loss if he does in fact leave after this season. Emmanuel Ogba had a good season in 2020 and the Miami Dolphins added a top draft prospect to play on the opposite side but he is in the final year of his contract. Ogba helped Miami fans appreciate the value of Cameron Wake and also helped Dolphins fans forget about the Charles Harris mistake. Ogba was good in 2020 and this year he is expected to be better if he stays healthy. Miami invested the 18th overall pick on Jalen Phillips to man the end position on the opposite side. If anything in Miami history has taught us it is that two top edge rushers is far better than one. Miami has had a lot of success when their day are paired with another equally solid day on the opposite side. The Dolphins have struggled to find solid day since Wake left and while Phillips has a lot of high-end potential, there are still concerns over his health history and Miami would be smart to get Ogba extended at some point this year and avoid having him hit free agency next offseason. They will probably take a reactive approach meaning they will wait to see what Ogba does this year but I would expect him to be re-signed in January ahead of the market opening in 2022. Albert Wilson may not make the Miami Dolphins roster this year but if he does, next year will most certainly be his last in Miami. If there was one good bet for the Dolphins' 2022 impending free agent class, 
Albert Wilson hitting the market is almost a 100% certainty. Of course, Wilson has to get through this offseason and training camp first and there are no guarantees that he makes this year's roster. Wilson opted out of the 2020 season and that was probably smart for him. Forget about the pandemic reasons, Wilson has been injured the year prior and that was coming off a bigger hip injury the year before that so having an entire season to get healthy should work out in his favor. Will it translate to a contract extension? No, the Dolphins will move on from Wilson this year and barring him making the roster, will allow him to hit free agency next year and there is nothing wrong with that. Wilson is a good receiver but his future in the NFL is now getting to the point where he will likely be joining teams on short-term deals if not one-year deals. This year, should be fun to watch if he is on the roster. He has a nice dynamic that adds speed and quickness to an offense loaded with just that, but unlike several other players, Wilson has the experience as a veteran.